Are you looking for a free open source alternative to Team Viewer or any desk for remote desktop access? Welcome to Rust Desk, the ultimate platform for secure and very efficient remote desktop management. But before starting this, I would like to show you, you can see here, this is official warning. You may be scammed if you are on the phone with someone you don't know and trust who have asked you to install Rust Desk. Do not install and hang up immediately. They are likely a scammer trying to steal your money or other private information. So yeah, this is very important and make sure you know about this. Right, now in this video, I will show you how to use Rust Desk to connect to remote devices, share screen, transfer files, and provide IT support, all from one intuitive application. By the end of this video, you will know how to set up Rust Desk, initiate remote connection, manage permissions and troubleshoot common issues. Now let's dive in. Right, so first of all, you have to come to this website. By the way, it's a, obviously they are going to charge. There's a free version, so you can check the online status, community support, and there's a lot of stuff here. It gives you four plans, so the three, three plans are individual. So you can self-host, that is a pro plan. This is a basic self-hosting and this is a customized, right? So depending upon how many users you have, they will charge you, right? That is a monthly. And this is the highest limit, which you can see here. Now, once you are satisfied with, let's go back or click on the top right side corner and click on download because you have to download. Now to download this app, right? So here you have to select your system. So my system is a Windows. So I will just go and select here exe file or just Amazon file, right? And if you have Ubuntu, you can download this. If you have Apple, Mac, you can this. This is for Android, right? So for example, let's say this is for the website. So if you don't wanna you download this, right? Uh, you can just go and use a normal website. Now this is how this looks, right? This is exactly dashboard. So before we get started, I want to let's break down what's make Rust Desk stand out. So according to them, Rust Desk is a lightweight, open source, remote desktop tool designed to help users securely access and you know, control devices remotely, right? Now, there's are so many features which I would like to show you. Now, it's a cross-platform, it's self-hosted option, there's a file transfer and clipboard sharing, there's a privacy focus, right? No ads, no hidden fees, no third-party tracking, and there's a lot of features, right? Some of the more features, for example, it's lightweight, you can access it on anywhere, whether it's whatever system you have, whether it's Windows, Mac, iOS, whatever it is. If you don't want to install, that's fine. You can even view it on your website in just normal Google Chrome or any of the browser, right? So actively maintained by growing community. So to get started here, as I told you, you have to download if you, if you let me show you. By the way, if you want to download, let's go back here. Let's say this is a exe file. Once I just go and click on here, you can see the download has been started. Now, once you're done, I will just go and click on it. Now, a setup box will open up here, which you can see. This is exactly the same. So this is my desktop. This is exactly the password and everything. Now, due to UAC, Rust Desk can now work properly on any remote site in some cases. To, to avoid UAC, please click on this button. So if you face this issue, just go and click on install, right? Now to connect this up, so the, I hope the installation process is very straightforward, even for beginners and ensure you are ready to start using Rust Desk right away. Now the Rust Desk is installed, let's walk through initiating a remote connection. For example, on the remote device, open a Rust Desk and note the unique device ID, see, as you can see here, as well as the password ID is given. So click on connect, right? So for example, if you want to connect with any of the device, you have to ask the ID. Just like your system has an ID, right? You have to ask the ID and you have to paste it, right? So let's say I will just try to copy and paste it here, although it will not connect because it's my same system here. But in your case, I hope you understood this. You have to just go and paste and click on connect. Now, once you just go and click on connect, you have to click on allow, right? And you can see here, this is how it's look. Now I have to co copy and paste the password. So this is a password, I have to copy this. Right. By the way, I will change the password, so I need to check this out. Right now here, I uh, will make sure you remember this password and click on OK. Now, as you can see, it's got connected. As well as I will see a new interface here, the, which is this one. Right, so I can just go and enable keyboard, mouse on and off, right? There's a uh, enable clipboard. So for example, if I like this here, you can see here, this is uh, my mouse and wherever my mouse goes, it will show me, right? If I just go and click on here, you can see this is how it's look, right? So outside the box it will show me right 
for example i'm here so it will show me something like this right now this is a permission so i can give the permission of audio on and off right this is really interesting by the way now this is enable file copy uh, if i copied something i can paste it here right so this is so many features which is really easy to do this now this is enable remote start restart or on you if you want to if you have a camera then you can enable the recording session on and off so it gives you a lot of option right now if you want to disconnect you can just go and click on disconnect from here as you can see here close manual by the peer so it has been disconnected now i once i have connected so this is act like an activity here now i can just go and click on here now click on delete or add to fa favorite or i can just go and click on connect again right so do you want to enter again so i'll just go and click on here have to enter the password and click on okay right and this is the process which you can do it right it's really easy thing to do and there's a no any other features and this is a star icon and this is a this is how you can use rust desk now once connected rust desk offers several advanced features as i told you there's a file transfer there's a clipboard sharing there's a just display settings manage permissions so these tools make rust desk versatile and suitable for a wide range of use cases sometimes you may encounter issues while using rust desk here's how for example you can ensure rust desk has permission to communicate communicate through your firewall confirm both devices are connected to the internet right and check rust desk connections logs for each desk and resolution so this is the exact process and these steps help you to resolve most of the connectivity issues quickly and very efficiently and there you have it a complete step by step guide right and by the way there's a link given in the description you can just go there and if you're thinking to buy a subscription you can always buy it from there and it's an interesting one to go right and whether you're providing id support accessing files remote or collaborating with others right rust has the tools to help you succeed if the video helped give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more software tutorials till that time see you again